In this inaugural edition of Spiritually Revved, we discuss the profound concept of the resurrection and its deep significance for us. Resurrection represents hope, renewal, and the assurance of the full and purposeful life in Christ that lasts for all eternity. It empowers followers of Christ to live as cherished children of God, both now and forever. So come along as we investigate this life-changing influence of the resurrection and how it shapes our spiritual path as we embrace this divine power for ourselves. So let's kick things off by watching this video clip of the resurrection of Jesus. Picture this, put yourself in the sandals of those disciples as they stumbled upon that empty tomb. Can you feel the shock, the awe, the fear creeping in? Who in the world would have spirited away the body of Jesus? The uncertainty must have been suffocating. It wasn't until Mary Magdalene shared her encounter with the risen Jesus and they themselves laid eyes on him that the truth finally dawned on them that their beloved Lord had conquered death. This concept of resurrection and renewal holds a profound significance in the Bible, offering a message of hope, transformation, and eternal life. Resurrection represents the victory of life over death, light over darkness, and hope over despair. The resurrection of Jesus Christ stands as a pivotal moment in Christianity offering us the path to forgiveness, restoration, and transformation. By embracing the power of the resurrection, we can let go of past burdens, sins, and limitations, experiencing for ourselves liberation, healing, and annual uh, and spiritual growth. So now let's just dive into a passage from the Bible. And if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies because of his spirit who lives in you. Therefore, brothers and sisters, we have an obligation, but it is not to the flesh to live according to it. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the spirit you put to death the misdeeds of the body, you will live. For those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. To truly grasp the depth and significance of Romans 8, 11 to 14, it's essential to explore the broader context. Romans 8 emerges as a powerful and inspiring chapter in the Bible, commencing with the declaration that there is no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus. This sets the stage for a message of hope, freedom, and victory over sin and death. The passage in Romans 8, 11 to 14 highlights the transformative impact of the Holy Spirit in the life of a follower of Christ, guiding them to align with God's will and purpose and to conquer sinful tendencies. This transformative power of the Holy Spirit which resurrected Jesus was so profound that the Roman guards at his tomb fainted under its weight on the morning of the resurrection. This power revitalized every lifeless cell and fiber of Jesus' body until death could no longer contain him. This same spirit breathes life into our own mortal bodies, empowering us to overcome sin and affirm our identity 
as God's beloved children. Hence, we are encouraged to live in accordance with the Spirit, rejecting sinful behaviors and obeying God's divine will. Allowing ourselves to be led by the Holy Spirit empowers us to surrender, to trust and to align with God's divine purposes. As Paul articulates in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 10 and 12. These are the things God has revealed to us by His Spirit. The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. For who knows a person's thoughts except their own spirit within them? In the same way, no one knows the thoughts of God except the Spirit of God. What we have received is not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, so that we may understand what God has freely given us. Embracing the Spirit's guidance enables us to comprehend God's wisdom and purposes. This spiritual guidance empowers us to transcend our limitations and live in harmony with God's divine purposes, a calling we as followers of Christ are called to fulfill. This is why Paul emphasizes the profound love of God and the unique privilege we hold in being part of God's family. As adopted children, we receive a fresh new identity and purpose shaped by, the, by, by God's love and the transformative influence of the Holy Spirit within us. This transformative influence empowers us to live in harmony with our new identity, striving to honor God in every aspect of our lives. All right, now that we have grasped this incredible resurrection power dwelling within us, how can we make sure we are letting the Holy Spirit's life-changing influence lead and guide us in our everyday life? Here are four down-to-earth strategies to help you and I embrace this resurrection power in, in our everyday life. By the way, the, the initial letter, the, big, the first letter of each step forms the word rope, making it easy for you to recall how to bind yourself to God and His Spirit. So first, revamp your mindset and lifestyle. So, to revamp your mindset and lifestyle, you need to reflect on areas of your own life that could benefit from a fresh start or a new perspective? Are there behaviors or thought patterns you need to release? Remember that the Holy Spirit, which resurrected Jesus from the dead, resides within you and can rejuvenate your spirit. Embracing transformation and growth and allowing the Holy Spirit to empower you to embrace these changes can lead to a sense of renewal and revitalization. Step two, organize your days by incorporating daily spiritual practices. So there, there are daily spiritual practices you can incorporate into your daily life, like worship, listening to hymns and spiritual songs to help you connect with God, spending time in prayer, diving into the Bible, being in tune with God's Spirit, listening, hearing what God is saying to you and, and praying and, and, and bringing your needs to God. Take time to listen to the still small voice guiding you in making decisions and navigating life challenges in, in, that you face. Next, pursue opportunities to serve others. We all face opportunities to be a blessing to people around us. We all face opportunity to serve people and to exhibit this love and compassion in the way you engage and interact with your family members, with your neighbors, with your work colleagues, with fellow students, with people you come across in your daily life. Let God's grace-extending spirit radiate from you as you extend kindness and empathy to those you encounter. Finally, Embrace challenges and trials as avenues for growth and transformation. This is probably one of the toughest uh, steps to take because we all hate challenges, we all hate trials. But the Bible tells us that when we 
encountered challenges and, and we, uh, as we encountered trials, that they are an avenue for, for growth and transformation. Trust in the Holy Spirit's strength to, to fortify you and to guide you through the tough times with unwavering faith and, and perseverance. And to know that as we persevere through trials and, and challenges, the Spirit of God is, is molding your life and, and making you to be a stronger follower of Christ and an and a ambassador for His kingdom. As you venture down this path of renewal guided by the Holy Spirit, remember to keep practicing rope. By integrating these practices into our daily routines, we can stay in tune with the Holy Spirit, undergo spiritual change and find peace and fulfillment by aligning ourselves with God's purposes. However, to engage in this process of renewal and transformation, active participation in a Christian community is vital. Jesus assured his disciples in Matthew 16 and verse 18 that he was establishing a community that would withstand the forces of darkness, essentially being part of a community of like-minded people who share a passion for wholehearted living for Christ and his kingdom is essential for embracing spiritual renewal, nurturing spiritual growth, and propagating the message of Christ's resurrection. By joining a community centered on Christ and his kingdom, we can ensure that our progress and impact will not be hindered by the kingdom of darkness. If you're not currently part of a Christian community, please reach out to me. I can help you get connected with a discipling community that can support you on a journey of following Christ and engaging in his kingdom mission. So, as we wrap up our exploration of the resurrection power for Christ followers, it is apparent that embracing the path of renewal and transformation in faith is a profound and enriching journey. Just as the re resurrection signifies new life and hope, Christ followers are called to continually to renew their faith, allowing it to transform and shape their lives. In a world filled with uncertainty and, and challenges, this message of renewal, true faith offers hope and strength. It serves as a reminder that irrespective of the circumstances, redemption and fresh beginnings can always be found through unwavering faith and a commitment to this spiritual journey. Embracing renewal is not a, a one-time occurrence, but an ongoing process of growth. It is a journey led by the Holy Spirit to help us in, a, in deepening our faith in a God of boundless grace and to partake in his mission of spreading this grace and hope in the world. May we draw inspiration from the resurrection power and allow it to stir us towards a life brimming with grace, love, and eternal renewal. Bless you heaps. Hey, thank you for watching this video. I hope it has encouraged you, inspired you, challenged you to think about your own journey of faith and your relationship with Christ. Um, if there's anything that I've said that has been encouraging, challenging, inspiring, you want to discuss this further, please do not hesitate to contact me at collaborationforhope at gmail.com. Also, if you are looking at being part of a discipling community because you want to grow as a follower of Christ and to be involved in His kingdom, um, please contact me as well, collaborationforhope at gmail.com. God bless.